I'm standing right in front of my office in view of this beautiful azalea bush. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's stunning, the color. And yet a month ago, this wasn't visible at all. You would have never guessed that it was going to turn into something as beautiful as this. But spring came. New life came. And as we begin 1 Peter chapter 4 this Sunday, just like Jesus, we're reminded to have the same attitude that Jesus Christ had. So take some time and look through verses 1 through 6 of 1 Peter chapter 4 and examine what that attitude is and what difference does it make in the life of the believer. Because when somebody comes to faith in Jesus, when they admit their sin and they repent and turn from it and seek forgiveness avail only through the death and resurrection of Christ, giving their life to him, he does change everything. Changes our attitude, our motives, which results in a change in lifestyle. So what does that change in lifestyle involve? And is everybody going to be happy about your change in lifestyle? How about those who you used to hang around with that continue to live in a lifestyle contrary to the Word of God. Now we're called to reach out to them, but we're also reminded that we shouldn't be surprised if they're not happy with the change that Jesus Christ has made in our life. And yet our goal now is to live not for ourselves, but for the will of God. So could I can encourage you to take some time to look through 1 Peter chapter 4, 1 through 6, as we begin our journey in this chapter, just like Jesus. So we look forward to seeing you either at the 8 a.m. service this Sunday or 1030. We also continue to broadcast over WPGA and to stream uh, over the internet. May you have a blessed day in Jesus. And look around and see the beauty around you. Rejoice in the new life. And if you know Christ is your Savior, rejoice in the new life that you have in him. Hallelujah. What a Savior.